Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My channel is Budget Life Millionaires by 40. My name is Jackie. Um, I just recently recorded my budget video for May and my phone decided not to actually record. So I'm just going to go quickly over all our categories and what we actually spent for May 2020. Um, it was pretty a long video, so I'm going to try to keep this one much shorter just because I don't know what's going on with my phone, but it just decided not to actually record it. Maybe it was too long. I don't know. So here we're going to go. We're going to start with the beginning and that is going to be our mortgage. We paid the $4,500 that we actually planned and we have a zero rolling over. We also paid our rental house mortgage minimum payment of $1,184. So we're having nothing rolling over. Next line item we have is groceries. And groceries we actually spent less than we um, budgeted. And then I moved probably some money around for, or maybe I had an overage from last month. So we're rolling over $46 into June so that we can use that to buy groceries. Um, Next line item, I believe, is Peachtree Utilities, which is our rental house in Washington. And we budget about $400 every month to pay for the sewer bill and insurance and property tax. And we didn't have anything spent to spend um, this month, luckily. But um, we did pay the property tax in April. So that's why this is so high and we're rolling over 1213, but it was 1613 last month. So $400 reduced that to 1213. So that's how that works. If you, you're confused, I'm sorry. Um, I try to do like, it's kind of like a sinking, reverse sinking fund in a way, but, um, I just budget 400 bucks and then it gets, it usually goes back down to zero for many of my um, things. Also, our auto insurance is the same way. I can explain it better there, maybe. Next line items are home improvement. And for home improvement, we spent $175 instead of $150, but we still had like a giant surplus. So we are rolling $464 into June to spend on our house. Also, we have in restaurants, I uh, budgeted $135, but we spent $140. A little bit over but I think I had a surplus from last month so we have negative eight dollars rolling into the next month to spend next line items internet we spent the 117 and nothing really hardly anything chunk change to roll over into next month next line items auto fuel and I am driving I'm delivering um, food to people like for instacart and doordash um, so I'm actually driving around and spending you know, put gas in my car so I can drive around and do that and make extra income on the side. So yeah, so I spent 126 and I think I had a surplus. So we only have a dollar left rolling over to next month. Um, cell phones was 106, like always, and a dollar over chunk change. Pet supplies, we have a um, hundred dollars I budgeted. I didn't spend anything really but we had $137 that were still over from last month. Last month I bought a Bark Boss, Bark Box um, yearly subscription. So I spent quite a lot last month. So we're still working on bringing that back down to zero or close to it. And then, so the next line item we have is vet and I spent $20, which was for my pet's insurance. I have two, two dogs that I have insurance on for $10 each month. It's called Bivy Insurance. It's interesting. I I was trying to shop around for insurance a few months back because I got a new puppy and I was like, just in case something's wrong with him, you know, it'd be nice to have insurance on him and I don't have to worry about, you know, having expensive vet bills because vet bills can be expensive. And I looked at a bunch of different options and Bivy was just like the cheapest and easiest to like figure out. And since my other dog was older, um, it's like $10 each dog, at least in this area uh, where I live. So you no know, matter what their age. So I was like, perfect. I'll just get both of them $10 insurance. And then that's just a peace of mind, a little, little thing I can possibly use if I have to. Um, I know that I won't be spending way too much money on my animals going to the vet for emergencies or if they get ill or anything crazy like that. So $20, I feel like that's decent for two pets. 
The next line item we have is vacation fund. Obviously we didn't go anywhere on vacation this month and so $100 um, added on to our surplus. So now we have $770 to roll into June to spend on vacation, which we probably won't be going anywhere either. Probably not until Christmas, I'm thinking. And then next line item we have is auto insurance and we did pay for our six months auto insurance. So this is an example of how I budget for um, this. So I, I budget $89 each month, or actually it'll be 88 next starting next month, but 88, $89 basically was 544 divided by um, like six basically. And it gets like 80, eight point whatever and and so i i did 89 for this month and then after that it's going to be for the last five months this is like this divided by five is 88 dollars so basically um for the next five months after this we'll be working to get this down back down to zero and then we'll pay another six months and it'll start all over again and that's how i do this budget and some of these budgets kind of like the same but this one's more like this one makes more sense to people probably if if they were seeing my reverse budgeting because I just pay it in full and then have it come out of my budget for each month instead of like all at once budget it for one you know I have to pay 544 for one budget and then all my other budgets get thrown off because I won't have any money for it so that's how I do that one it makes sense to me it's kind of like a reverse sinking fund but you know I have the money in the bank. I don't have, like, I have a, I don't have a thousand dollar emergency fund. I have a giant emergency fund, so I'm not too worried. I can pay stuff in advance and get the discounts and stuff like that. So that's how that works. Next line I have is electric and it's $84. Like we, um, we budgeted and then so there's zero rollover utilities. We paid $75 and that's for like our water sewer, um, garbage, I believe. And um, one negative one dollars going rolling over into next month, and then we have clothing. I didn't spend any money on clothing, so we have two hundred and thirty dollars rolling into June. Then we have natural gas, which was fifty six dollars, and that um, that also had a dollar rollover. And then we had auto service. Now auto service, I had fifty two budgeted. I actually spent fifty dollars since my car since I've been using my car. I actually got a bolt stuck in my tire, so I had to get that patched up. So that was like $25 to $26. And then the, the rest of the money was to get a new windshield wiper because one of my windshield wipers on the passenger side was like falling apart. So I went and bought one at AutoZone. And so we have $100 over right now for auto service, but hopefully we won't have any more expenses in the next couple months for auto service. And then that'll bring it back down to zero if I'll put, and this will be for $50 next month in the, in June and July. So that should bring it back down to zero if we don't have any expenses. So next line item we have is gifts and gifts is $50 and I spent $21 and I believe that was for a Groupon that I, I had a Groupon to get my hair done, but I couldn't use it. So I exchanged it and then I think whatever I exchanged it for was um it was for car detail um cost a little bit more money so I spent $21 there and so now I have $282 left for gifts the next line item has home goods and that was for target purchase of $22 and so we have still have $228 to spend there for home goods rolling over to the next month and then we have fast food Fast food, I budgeted 25, spent 23, rolling over $2. Personal care, um, budgeted 25, spent zero, rolling over $84. Alcohol, budgeted 15, spent 16, and we still had a surplus from last month, so rolling over $3. Netflix, 13, 13. Um, chunk change rolling over to next month. And then we have coffee shops and I budgeted $10 and I didn't spend anything because I still had money on my apps for like Dunkin Donuts and Starbucks. I have gift cards, still money left on it. So I didn't have to really spend it. So we're rolling over $32 into June. And then the last few, we have jewelry insurance, which $4 a month, but I pay it every December, I believe. And so 
I don't spend any money, but this just it works this money down right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so, yep, so now we're at $21 um, over, and it's just going to get reduced. So that's another reverse sinking fund in a way. And then last but not least is my education. And I didn't spend any money, didn't budget any money, but we still have $331 to spend. And it's mainly for my textbooks and stuff. And so let's, let's go to the total. So we budgeted for $8,250. And we actually spent $7,772. And then so we we're actually under by $788 overall of all of our categories, adding all these up basically. Um, so that's good. Um, we've been under for the last few months, which is great. Um, before that we were over all the time, so we're doing really well on our budget. Um, probably the pandemic is helping. <laughs> so that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this records this time and I will see you guys later. I shall be doing a net worth video and hopefully I'll post it here and I might also link my, um, debt pay down video for you guys so you can see how we're doing. Thanks for watching. Bye.